at a farm here in Langley. We're learning about a space for animals and humans that provides opportunity for love and understanding. So my husband Mike and I own the farm and um, we live next door and we wanted to do something for the community. Uh, before COVID we were having a lot of kids coming in from schools and stuff like that so they would come in, they might be kids that don't um, necessarily, I won't say succeed in the classroom, but have their challenges in the classroom. And speaking to teachers, um, what they've noticed is they become completely different kids when they're here. So being here will get them set up doing various jobs around the farm, whether it's things just as simple as raking leaves or raking up hay or, or cleaning out stalls or just spending time with animals because you will see a behavior change when kids are around animals. How long have you been here and why? Five, about five years, I think. Um, why? Because I just saw that kids in school don't have success. The trauma that they've been through in school with being in hallways and kicked out of classrooms and things, they just don't have a very good experience with school. So this is a way to sort of let that go and start learning something new that has nothing to do with reading and writing. Thank you for coming no in your PE time. <laughs> that was really special. Hello. How often are they coming here? Yeah. Half of the class comes on Tuesday, the other half comes on Thursday afternoon. So worth it and why? It is worth it to because we get a help while we help ourselves like helping the animals and Oh, you graduated. That's it. You're done. <laughs> I'll pay you later. Yeah. Did you tell him to say that? No, I didn't tell him to say that. I taught him. I taught him the, I taught him the truth. I was excited because I wanted to work at a farm and be happy with animals. Because it's like working with animals makes you feel better, and like volunteering is better. You know, it's like something you can like feel free to and just like put yourself, be yourself into, basically. We tell the kids that it's a large animal rescue for animals who've been abandoned or neglected and abused and it's their job to socialize with them to make them feel better and in the end it's kind of beneficial for both of them because it's the kids that actually need the connection with the animals. This is Coco. She's a calico cat and I love her. She's helped me through some troubles multiple times. Alice! Hi. This is Alice. She's been at the farm for three years and she just happened to be absolutely fabulous with the kids that come from the schools and the, and the agencies. So they take her out and they take her over the jumps and they brush her and they love on her and she is happy to accept it back. If you had to recommend this type of therapy to somebody, how would you sell it? What would you say? Well, I wouldn't call it therapy because people avoid that. I would just say if you need a, a place where you can just, you know, calm your soul and just be, you end up being with the animal that needs you and that you need. Like the people that are here are caring people. When caring people care, things change. They learn body language, they learn, um, they can tell by the horse's ears how the horse is feeling. And I try to get them to see how a teacher has clues like that too in a classroom where you can see when you're getting on their nerves. Body language, I have to ask then, what does it mean with the horse's ears when they're up or down? Oh, up they're paying attention, sideways they're thinking about things, okay. and when they're back all the way, they're not happy. Body language that's with their, animals. Yeah, that's their ears. A great cue. Yeah, goats when they're upset, they'll, they'll bunt. Like kick, you, like kick you with their head. To learn more about programs here at the farm, <laughs> visit the website. Dean Atwell, Joy Television. Nip me there. <laughs> <laughs>